Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna guide you through how you can delete your Apple ID account. Keep watching the video till the end without skipping and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you whenever we post a new video. If you have decided that you are deleting your Apple account, start by going to your web browser first and sign into your Apple ID. In the search box, type in appleid.apple.com and search. You'll end up in this page. Now, go ahead and sign into your account by entering your Apple credentials. Type in your ID and your password and log into your account like you normally do. Once you're in, go to the data and privacy options from this page. Now, tap on manage your data and privacy You'll need to sign into your Apple account one more time in order to move forward. Type in your credentials again and you may be required to perform the two-factor authentications to continue. Simply type in the code that you received and you'll be automatically verified. Now under manage your data, if you want to download your data before deleting your account, simply tap on request a copy of your data and once you have downloaded all the data, you can go ahead and delete your account. If you want to temporarily deactivate your account so that later if you change your mind you can easily log into your account then you can go and tap on request to deactivate your account. If you want to delete it permanently then you can go ahead and tap on request to delete your account at the bottom. Once you tap on request to delete your account you'll be able to see an information on this page. Go through all information. You can also make a local copy of your backup or your data before deleting your account if you want. Make sure to sign out of all the devices and web browsers that you might have used to log in in the past. The account deletion process is permanent and if you aren't planning to use your account for now, but if you want to consider returning to it in the future, we recommend temporary deactivation instead of deletion. If you still haven't made up your mind to delete your account permanently, then you can go ahead and tap on temporary deactivation. If you want to change your mind, then this is the right time. If not, and you are sure you want to delete it, go ahead and select the region on the next field. Now, after you do that, tap on continue and go through the informations one more time. It says your 5GB iCloud storage plan will be cancelled. You will lose access to your data, Apple Store and media purchases. If you have made any subscriptions with this account, they will be cancelled as well. To continue deletion, tap on continue. Read all the terms and conditions in the box. If you want to print a copy of it, you can do so by tapping on this option right here. Tap on I have read and agreed to these conditions and finally tap on continue. Now you can go ahead and choose how to get account status update after you delete your account. You can set it to your email address, your phone number. You can also use a different email address and a different phone number. Let me select the email option and tap on continue. Now here is an access code. You can print it or download it or write it down in a piece of paper. If you change your mind and if you have any request regarding the account, then you can provide this code to Apple support. Let me take a screenshot of it for now and tap on continue. Now, enter the access code that you just copied or downloaded to make sure that you have it with you. Now, type in the code over here in this box. After you do that, tap on continue. Now, finally, tap on delete account from this page and your deletion request has been sent. For your security, Apple will verify all requests before deleting an account. This process may take up to 7 days and your account will remain active while verification is in progress. You can go ahead and tap on sign out in order to get out of there and after 7 days you'll be able to delete your account permanently. That is how you can easily delete your Apple ID. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.